Hey, what's up fellow YouTubers, fellow Toy Nuts and Toy Collectors, this is Starstream 1988 and today I bring you a review on Hasbro's G.I. Joe and this is your Eagle Hawk helicopter. Very, very cool figure, very iconic um, figure, <laughs> very iconic toy from the 3 3 quarter inch line of the G.I. Joe, Ara, a real American hero toy line which is really nice. Um, it's been pretty cool, I'm glad that Hasbro has definitely taken care of us in the past few years. Um, they first started with maybe i don't want to say 10 years ago but it was pretty damn close they first gave us the conquest x30 um through target which was really nice of them um you know and they fixed a couple of the issues especially like the plastics obviously changed throughout the years so they're not as brittle um and when i say that i mean that even with for example the a10 warhog slash your cobra rattler which is one of the greatest vehicles in my opinion ever made I regret the fact that I ever sold the two that I have. Now I kind of want to get them back. Um, Conquest, I had um, the two or three releases that they did. I really don't care that I got rid of them. But if I could ever find them for cheap money, I would. Um, then recently, you know, they've given us a couple of vehicles here and there. But then, you know, recently they gave us obviously the Sky Strikers. That was awesome. That was awesome of them. Um, oh, when I was talking back to the, the plastics, if you guys remember for the original Ara, the biggest thing were the landing gears for the Cobra Rattlers that would break. So things like that they fix because the plastics are a lot more durable nowadays, plus they bend easier and um, the hinges that are holding those things don't break as easy. Um, so then again, yeah, the Sky Striker was recently, I got uh, quite a few of those put away, I've never even opened one yet, um, and I have quite a few of these. Um, so I figured, you know what, let me crack one open because I really, really want to play with one. Um, I unfortunately don't have an original of the Ara series, so you know if you want to see a comparison, you'll have to check out someone else's um, review. And one of the better ones actually is Form BX. I always forget the numbers to his name, but Form BX um, he did a pretty cool one where he compares both of them, so you can check out his review if you like. Um, but yeah, this some um, kind of crack them open. Let's look at the box first. It's really nothing special. It, the back of it obviously shows you um, what it looks like, whatever not. Uh, tells you about G.I. Joe is the world's greatest special ops fighting force with top super ninja training from the Arashikage masters. Now these elite heroes use their ninja skills and tough command abilities to defend the globe against the evil forces of Cobra. Uh, this is an on-land, sea, and air. The G.I. Joe team is one of the greatest battles vehicles of all time. The Eagle Hawk helicopter. I don't know why they changed the name, but it must have been something to do with the whole Tomahawk thing. Um, but yeah, let's kind of crack this open and we're going to do this in real time. And I'm going to build it right now. Um, I'm sure it's pretty easy. I've seen enough videos of people doing these, so hopefully I'll get in one shot. The only thing I won't be able to do is the stickers, because obviously I don't want to keep you here for an hour. <laughs> but uh, i kind of crack this open. And these are really tight in there. I mean, the people that box these do not play around. They use every nook and cranny of space, as you can see there. Like, once I build this, I won't ever be able to put it back. I am guaranteed sure of it. Look at that. Cool. All right, so, and then plus some of these assembly pieces, once you put them in, you can't really take them out. So, oh, this is it's good stuff. It's not cheap. Now, obviously these were selling for 40, 50 bucks at um, Toys R Us. They've, I guess, recently started coming down in prices a little bit. Um, but yeah, there's some rubber bands holding some engine pieces there. Um, I'm not going to break it apart actually anytime soon. So they'll probably actually stay there. There's a wench here, which is really nice. And it's actually on this side over here. It doesn't seem to go any farther than that. At least I don't think so. Yeah, that's, that's it. So it's not too, too far. Yeah, I'm really, this is really cool. I'm, pretty happy with this actually I know it's not built yet but I'm already happy with it <clears throat> there's all the rotors there oh I'm sure I'm sorry the blades here's um lift ticket very military like unlike the orange version um I like the orange version though uh that punk that he is um and I call him a punk because of the the movie um, he was kind of an ass to, um, what's his name, um, <clears throat> first officer, uh, oh my god, Falcon, so, <laughs> but yeah, this is obviously more, um, movie-like, 
um, oh wow, this helmet is unbelievable. Look at the, the design on this with night the, the night ops goggles and all that. So let's see, and it's not huge on him. Like I said with the Flint video, they, they're so form-fitting now. They're so much more realistic than the original. And, you know, to some people, they'll be like, that's blasphemy. And I, I totally agree. I, the, the originals will nothing, nothing will ever um, compare to the originals. But these guys are pretty cool. Look at it. They even give you extra headgear for when you have um, guys in the copter with him. So that's really cool. Um, so he doesn't have to fly with that. He can fly with these two. Um, as long as he can communicate properly, so that's really cool. That is awesome. That's some cool, cool stuff. I can see why they charged, you know, fifty, sixty dollars for this. It's definitely not worth that anymore, as it's come down in price. So that's great for us, the consumer. For those that paid more in the original, you know, originally, that's fine. I mean, I'm sure they're still happy, but I'm the type of guy that if it's not a priority in terms of my collecting, I don't buy right away. And G.I. Joe, unfortunately, when it used to be one of my top two lines of all time, is no longer that anymore, ever since I sold my original collection. So when that happens, I know it's impossible for me to get everything I ever used to own. It just kind of takes a, you know, seat to everything else that I, I find a priority, like my Transformers and Power Rangers and stuff like that. So let's see, can I put that first without reading the instructions? Oh, dude. You know what? Let me wait. There's the landing here. Yeah, I think I can just kind of put these on. Let's see. Yeah, this guy's definitely going to be on display whether I like it or not. Because, like I said, I'm not going to be able to put him back. There we go. That looks good. Um, let's see. You got some wings back here. Ugh. We got some more wings back here. Hopefully I'm not putting something on that then later on I can't move. If anybody's watching this, since seeing as I don't edit, they're gonna be like, oh, oh you're gonna have to go back. <laughs> so there's that. But I don't think so. I have a good feeling that this is as easy as it looks. There's that one. There's that one. It's pretty nice soft plastic. I mean, this thing is huge already. Ah, my video ran out. So anyway, yeah, so I kind of actually had done the the, the 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 landing gear there, or the, the wheels. So sorry about that kind of jump. Uh, but yeah, I didn't do anything extra other than that. That's the only thing that I missed. I don't know how the hell I just pressed the wrong button on my recorder. Um, all right, so anyway, what else we got? We got, I guess we can put this here. nice nice you got your infrared your gatling gun laser sighting pretty cool um let's see where does this go uh, that's the landing gear there those are the mufflers um, oh okay so i figured that part out there go and then there's another side to put on so where is that one that was here and then that just kind of snaps there very carefully sorry just didn't, you missed all that but anyway um, Oh, that's your front intakes to help with the propellers so they don't overheat. Uh, let's see. I guess you have to first open that up. And then that goes there. Yep. So that's there. That's pretty cool. It doesn't hold too well, but it's, it's good enough, I guess, because you have that opening there, as you can see. So there's really nothing holding, it's just friction. Um, you got your cockpit. I like the green, it's nice. I believe the original one's clear. So the green is nice. Come on. 
There you go. So now obviously you can just kind of put him in there. Put his helmet, his very cool helmet there. Um, I forget on these helicopters who's the actual pilot or does it matter? Is one just uh, either one co-op type of thing? I think in the box they have them on the right side though, just like an American car. I'm sorry, on the left side, like an American vehicle. So he's right here. But let's not put him alone. Let's put him with his buddy here, fellow warrant officer, Flint, number three in command. Well, from the old series. Um, it was Hawk, General Hawk, it was Duke, Flint. Um, what was it that they said in the movie? Yeah, that's right. It's General Hawk, then me, Flint, and then you, Beachhead. <laughs> so. <clears throat> That's when Beachu was mad. Well, if I was in charge. So anyway, so there they are, both in there already. Uh, and all oh, the landing gear, very nice. You can actually put a couple figures there too, coming out of the copter. Oh, that is awesome. Of course, in real life, it would be a lot bigger. I believe they don't have to squat down. Maybe a little bit, but uh, but yeah, you know, you can't make this too much bigger because it would cost even more money. So you just gotta be happy with it. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. This is very, very cool. Oh, I like the original. This is this is tough. It's uh, it's not perfect. It doesn't hold that well. Anyway, um, what else we got? Now we got propellers, rockets. Oh, there's the couple of um, machine guns for the passengers. Oh. Here, very cool. So hopefully they won't shoot into the plane and destroy the plane. The helicopter, I should say. Sorry. Um. Oh, you got your flight sticks here. Sorry. So that's something that I was missing. Let's see if I can kind of see that now. Now that they're in there. Um. Let's see. Yeah. Seems a little bit kind of hard to put in. I don't want to. I'm bending the, the crap out of the plastic, actually. I don't want to break anything. It's not fitting. All right, I'll play with it later. Not on, not on camera. Oh, got one. So there's one there. Of course, he really has to lean forward in order to grab it, unless you even do. Well, yeah, I know you can't do that. So that's a little. It's a little. I don't know, kind of forward there. Um, let me try this one. Maybe this one has a easier. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, those flight sticks are a little too close, I think. You would think they're kind of really around there where their legs are. So they can pedal and pilot and whatever not. But that's cool. It's a toy. It's a toy. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's definitely a smaller than an actual realistic in terms of scale one three quarter scale um i think it really could have been maybe another eight inches and it probably would have been perfect at that time it would have been eight inches maybe that much taller and then the the landing gear would have made it perfect but again you, you know what can you do if i want to make them more for realistic i should become an engineer and start complaining <laughs> then at that point um, I can try to get a job at, you know, Hasbro and say, no, this is how, how you would do a copter of this magnitude. So. And I know I'm running out of camera screen here. Now, I know some people would rather see the before and after. And that's fine. Obviously, there's other reviews out there that probably have that. I'm just kind of doing it this way so you can kind of see how long it takes without actually looking at the instruction manual. And again, I'm not going to try to put the stickers on it right now. That'll do later um, when I have just time in my hands. But I'm just, I guess, trying to show you how how fast you can make this without um, looking at the manual. 
just looking at the box, the pictures and whatever not. So there you go. That is complete. Kind of pull this back a little bit. So if we can see a little bit better. So there it is. There is your tomahawk. So from this box here to that right there. So pretty nice. Um, and then obviously you have to put your rockets and stuff like that. I think these guys go on the side here. And then some, yeah, these are the big ones. And that looks pretty cool there. And then these go here. And then here, that's where these smaller rockets go. So then you just put those there and whatever not. These are very, very nice. These fit very, very well. I thought they were going to drop. One of the biggest complaints about the Sky, um, Sky Striker. Yeah, the Sky Striker is that uh, people would say, not that I have ever opened mine. But like I said, I have three in box. Three or four, I think. And the box never opened. But <clears throat> um, they say that the rockets just don't hold very well, so they fall off pretty easy. So that's kind of a bummer. And I guess some of the fixes are people use putty and stuff like that. Or um, I think you have to almost cut into the plastic because it's just it, they're too short. Um, I think, yeah, I think that's what it is, that the, the pegs are too short, so that's why they fall off kind of easy. Yeah, I think putty is like, from what I remember, people use. Just so they can, um, you know, so it looks nice on display. There you go. It's very, very, very cool helicopter. Very cool. Obviously, they're supposed to go the opposite of each other. <laughs> I keep doing that wrong. There we go. Awesome, awesome toy. So then you have your manuals here. Um, so, gives you the whole assembly, which I did it without the assembly. So, there you go. And um, probably the best part, that'll definitely use. That'll tell me exactly where to put all my stickers. Um, I like how the Sky Striker gave you a whole bunch of different stickers. Um, so you could literally have, I believe, the amount of stickers that they give you is for three different versions or, or three different call signs or in different models or what, not models, but like, you know, uh, like, you know, plane number 17, plane number 33, and whatever or not. I wish they kind of would have done the, this with this one. So, like I did, I, I bought quite a few of these. And if I ever decided to display them all, then at least they will, all would have different call signs. But um, as I, guess, I guess as you can see here, it's not needed on this particular one because there's no actual numbers. So everything's pretty much the same. It's the whole, you know, uh, be careful, hot exhaust. It's just stars and, you know, you got your stripes, your jewel stripes and whatever. Not. So I guess for this one, it's not needed. Um, and it's the Tomahawk Thug, T-H-U-G. I wonder what that means. So that's cool. So I guess even if I, you know, I decide ever to open all of them, um, you know, it's it's generic. So you don't need the, the you know, if it's plane 547, pl you know, I keep saying plane, helicopter, you know, 12 and whatever not. So you got the back rotors here, which are pretty nice too. They do move. And you can just kind of spin that. And that's how that works. Pretty nice. I can't wait to actually... Uh, put the stickers on this oh, very very nice i highly recommend this if you guys can find this again um i believe toys r us is clearing them out so <clears throat> hopefully you can find them at clearance i don't know what the clearance price was but they were 49.99 and i think now they're like either 10 or 15 dollars off so that's a pretty good deal i'm actually personally myself selling a few also um and i'm including shipping but you can check out that video it's in the my playlist um you can kind of look at the um, it's a gi joe marvel universe marvel legends no not marvel legends marvel u and some other stuff that i'm selling uh but you can check that out so again it's like maybe six seven ten videos down from from the playlist uh, but as always guys thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it please rate subscribe um, share comment all that good stuff your guys are awesome thank you again peace later pick this up this is cool